Hello everyone, I know I was gone for quite some time, but now I'm back and it's time to stop horsing around. Today we are going to talk about the centaur. The centaur, or kentaur, is a mythological creature that is primarily found in Greek as well as Roman mythology. The centaur is a hybrid creature which is defined by having the upper body of a man and the lower body as well as legs of a horse. There are also some instances in which a centaur could have the upper body of a woman, in this case it would not be a centaur, but a centaur reed instead. However, this is depicted and described much more rare than its male counterpart, and only appears much later. I'd like to point out that it is important to differentiate the centaur and some other mythological creatures like the satyr, the minotaur, the ono centaur, the ichthyo centaur, and the ipotane. The origins of the classic centaur traces back to the Minoan period of Greece as far as 2500 BC, with similar creatures being described in India a little bit later. The centaur was depicted numerous times in ancient art, mentioned in many mythological stories and was pretty much present in one way or another in every time period following its origin from Minoan Greece through the Middle Ages until modern times, when centaurs are still seen in popular media such as fantasy novels, games, movies, TV shows, memes, you name it. Let's have a closer look at the Greek myth of the centaur. It is said that the centaurs came from the union of Ixion, a son of Ares, and Nephele, who, go with me here, was a cloud who Zeus made to look like Hera to prove that Ixion was lusting after his wife. Well, it worked. The cloud girl got pregnant and forth came the first centaur. It is either that or they had a child who mated with stallions and then there were centaurs. Of course, the OG also banished Ixion to the depths of the underworld where he was bound to a flaming wheel to suffer for all eternity. There are also some other tales how centaurs came to be, but to list them all would take a while and most of them are weirder than Zeus transforming a cloud and a guy banging the cloud. I mentioned the different kinds of origins because apparently there were several tribes of centaurs living in various locations such as Mount Pelion in Thessaly, the Foloi Oak Forest in Elis and the Milian Peninsula. So it could very well be that the different origin story were meant for the different tribes of centaurs. It can generally be said that the centaur is a very wild creature, often described to have a clever but impulsive and sometimes even outright beastly behavior. The centaur is associated with wilderness and nature, but also with certain crafts such as archery. From these attributes one could assume that they are somewhat meant to represent a mixture between wild animal like nature and cunning of man. Now, while it is very true that there have been some rather famous centaurs like Chiron or Pholus, the thing that centaurs are most known for is the so-called Centauromachy, because the main tribe of the centaurs really didn't come along with the tribe of men called the Lapiths. The war that ensued between these two was called the Centaurmachy, and it was basically an epic battle in which several heroes participated and in which the majority of centaurs was killed off. Without going too deep into the story, it should become very apparent that the Centaurmachy is the ultimate allegory of society being represented by man and barbarism presented by the centaurs. It could be said that the centaur itself is a metaphor for wild beast-like men that are indeed more animal than human and should have no place in a civilized society. Symbolism. As I've touched on, the centaur has been a rather popular motive in many art forms throughout history. Aside from that, there are apparently also people who wanted to celebrate the centaur and propose that May 14th should be an International Centaur Appreciation Day, which is something you know now. Splendid. Anyway, that has been my short video about the centaur. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have questions or recommendations for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. May the gods be with you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.